God, oh God. Boy, boy. Hey there, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Smooth ROM for your Nexus 7. So stick around towards the end of the video where I'll be showing you how to flash this ROM. And it does come with a ROM installer, so you do get some choices. So as you can see, it's really fast, smooth, no lag, and it kind of gives you this nice UI. I mean, stock 4.2. You can see we have one side there, side there. If we open up settings, go down to about device, you tell it's 4.2.1, smooth ROM version 4.3, and this is the bricked kernel that I'm running. So if you like the UI, this brick kernel is supposed to give you the smoothest. So you can see it's so smooth. I mean, it's fast, no lag, and there's not that many apps to come with. I already installed a couple here. Um, but some of the apps it comes with are DSP Manager, Calculator, Calendar, you get Terminal Emulator, Sound Recorder, just your basic apps. You get Root Explorer too, Goo Manager, the rest is pretty same. You get the CM File Manager. And so I haven't done anything with this. This is how it comes installed. You do have the choice of tablet UI in a Roman installer and I'll be showing you how to do that. So you do get your toggles here. And let's go into settings. Oops. Where you'll be doing most of your playing around. So you can see we have lock screen right here. We get add slider shortcuts. Have battery status status and change your screen security if you want. We also do get themes is where you could apply different themes that you install. So I have like TouchWiz theme right here. You install them from the Play Store. And we have System. And this is where you basically get everything. So we have Status Bar right here. If you want AM, PM, change the battery icon style. So you could change it to like a circle. Like that. If you could see it up there. Um, you could change brightness control. So like if you allow it, you could control your brightness from here. You can see that. It's pretty cool. Um, also, if we keep looking through here, <coughs> sorry, um, you could add AM PM. Let's say I want it small, it adds AM or PM there. For some reason, you need that. You could also show notification count. So if you get a message up here, Let's say from Gmail, it'll show you how many emails right on the status bar. You also do get quick panel settings. So if you open that up, choose the tiles and layout. You can see right here, we can add any ones we want. Let's say go to sleep. Um, so whatever you want. Uh, screen timeout. What else is there to add? Uh, torch. I mean, there's just plenty of stuff you could add. You could add sound. I didn't get the point. Let's add one more. Battery stats. Which is already there. If you want to delete it, you drag it there and you drop it. Add one more. Um, let's say brightness. That's there too. Huh. Let's just add random one, random one. Um, NFC, okay. We can see, I think you got it, how you could customize those. You have different sound modes when you click the buttons, I guess. When you, yeah, when you click. Uh, dynamic tiles, alarm clock, bug report, just different stuff right here. You go down here, you have notification drawer. You could add the power widget, and what that is, is you could add right here, the widget right here. It's pretty neat if you want to have that there too. Um, hide scroll bar, hide feedback, customize your power widget. Then we go into clock widget, which is Kronos. You could add weather tip. Uh, let's say use custom, or no, we'll just keep it like that. And change your clock and alarm. And then later, if you go in the set widgets, you have Kronos right here. Let's add it right there. And it should get the weather soon. So you would have your clock and your weather using the Kronos setting. 
Oops. So if you want that to customize a clock, which is pretty cool. And we have navigation bar. And you can see you could quick tips uh, and just a bunch of other stuff. To begin ending, tap the lock icon. So now it's editable. And now we could choose what we want here at the bottom. So let's say I want to add menu buttons since we don't have that. And you have a menu button. We could add another one there. Let's say search button. So then you have these. And yeah, now you have all these ones. If you leave it. Now lock. As you can see, we have all those choices now. It's pretty cool. And that's basically it. It's basically just Cyanogen Mod with his own different stuff on it. And it's pretty nice ROM. I mean, you get to really customize your Nexus 7. And you get great... Um, customizationable options and you get great smooth sandwich mod 10.1 so uh, definitely go try it out stick around till the end of the video right now I'll show you how to flash it on okay so right now I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the smooth ROM this is not the smooth ROM but I'm gonna be showing you how to flash it so the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna reboot into recovery click OK and use whatever method you want to get into recovery. So I can say this is a really cool ROM. It is probably the smoothest ROM out there. And that's why I'm flashing it on this one because I want a smooth ROM. Also, it does have a lot of features to it. And it is the latest CM 10.1. And you do get lots of choices. So the first thing you want to do is you want to wipe data factory reset. Do this two times just in case. Then you want to go into wipe cache and wipe it. I also do this two times just in case. Advanced, you're going to wipe down the cache. Then you go back. And if you want mounts and storage, you want to format system. Click yes format. You're going to go back. Then you're going to go to install zip from SD card choose it from SD card whatever folder and navigate to where you put it I have it in my downloads right there it's a smooth ROM version 4.3 zip click on that yes install so um, as I said before this is a Roman or I haven't said it yet but this is a Roman installer so as you can see I'm gonna click next it has the donators so right away you get to choose your kernel. You have Motley, Trinity, Franco, M kernel. I'm going to choose Brick kernel because it does say it's the smoothest. I want the smoothest. So you're going to click next. You can choose whichever browser you want. Um, Boat browser has Flash. So let's. I'm just going to go with Google Chrome because that's my favorite. Google Apps, uh, Picasa Sync, Tablet Mode if you want it. I'm going to stick away from tablet mode and ad blocker, which is recommended. And there it's downloading. So, not hard, and you do get some options. Especially if you're looking for a tablet UI for your Nexus 7. It's perfect for you if you weren't going to choose that. So, I'll let you see the full install. It's going pretty fast 70%. And just a huge thanks to the developer. Uh, you should really support him because this really is a great ROM. And I mean, especially if you're using it, just donate a little. And the ROM developer's name is James ST20, if I'm pronouncing that right. At least the one who has the thread. I'll have the link below for the thread. Okay, so it's done downloaded. Click next. Then you're just going to click finish. Does Roman installer finish? You want to go back. You're going to click reboot system now. And I'll show you the boot animation. And it's pretty easy as you can see. Nothing. Quick process. You can do it under 5 minutes. Make sure you have about 80% battery when you're flashing this. 
just in case if anything goes wrong. As you can see you have this cool Android boot animation. I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more ROM reviews and just other tech stuff. Also check out my website at www.phonetechkid.com uh, where I also have tech news. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, same thing, Phone Tech Kid. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. God, oh God. Boy, boy.